Cahirlock, Tishak, Tanish, the Green Eustle, Okoid Special, the Tog Green and You, Okoid Tovaktok, Agus Okoid Jarafak, Tommy Jig Tusnu Lukhaila, or Boher Nua, Agus Tasulagum, Ganyan Major Nihil, Leshen Uber at Tor Rowing, Tom Dokusak, Gomeg Uber and Ramsha, Kreetnehe, Riv Me Nulag, Go Vila, Agus Tri Jag. I and the other independents from the Oireachtas, Deputy Murphy and Senators von Turnout and Mullen, look forward to all of us working together in the coming year. And my feelings on this occasion are a mixture of pride and humility in having the opportunity to be part of a convention on the Constitution. And I'm conscious of the historical significance of this work, thinking back to the 1922 Constitution of the Irish Free State and Bunrock the in 1937. And regardless of how we may feel about our country or how critical we may be of our society, we do live in a country that is democratic, where we the people choose our government and where we the people can contribute to the constitution that we want to live under. So I'm very conscious here today of those countries in the world where people do not have that choice. They don't have the right to vote and where citizens, especially women, are deprived of so many rights that we take for granted the right for education, etc. And I'm conscious of those people whose voices are not heard. I'm also conscious of those countries where people's choices are very limited because they live in a one-party state. So no matter what the criticism thrown at this government or other governments, and I know there's going to be considerable criticism in the week ahead, nevertheless, we do have basic democratic rights guaranteed by our constitution, those rights to free speech, free association, free press, education, and the right to amend our constitution. There's a great line in Shakespeare's King Lear where Lear cries out, who is it that can tell me who I am? And I think that question of identity is at the heart of a constitution. So what sort of society do we want and how do we want to be identified? Yes, we are living in challenging times, challenges that are economic, environmental, political, and social. In the technical group submission, we made the point of the need to strike a balance between those areas in need of reform, while protecting those parts of the Constitution which have been a solid foundation for realising the democratic, free and sovereign state that is the Republic of Ireland. Now, we and others were disappointed by the narrow remit of the Convention, the exclusion at the moment of areas and topics that we feel are of vital importance in shaping our identity and the kind of society in which, which we wish to live. Topics like economic, social and cultural rights, housing and health being of particular public concern. The rights and conditions for prisoners, both in the Republic and in Northern Ireland. The rights of people with disabilities, mental and physical. Ireland is a strong and reputable voice on human rights issues in the developing world in respect of the Millennium Development Goals, land and property, women, education. We have a seat now on the UN Human Rights Council. So we hope that the area of human rights will be considered after the eight enumerated topics have been discussed. And looking at some of those, you know, reducing the voting age to 17, and yet there is no direct representation of that age group here today at the convention, and so we are missing the voice of one quarter of the population, those under 18. We will look at giving citizens outside the state the right to vote in presidential elections at our embassies, and yet I believe we don't have one representative from the Irish diaspora. The presidential term of office will be discussed, but I hope the convention will have the space to look at other aspects, like the nomination process, the minimum age to be eligible for president. And when we review the Doyle electoral system, that is a massive topic, and including the inc increasing the participation of women in politics. But can we look at Doyle reform without also taking on local government reform? So our hope is that the convention is given the scope to examine all aspects of the given topic, and that the Convention will have control of the agenda, also in determining the time scale for each of the topics, because all might not require the same time. Also, the role for civil society and a need to hear their voice. But especially, the voice of the citizens of this country has to be heard, because we need the public to be engaged with this process, because there is no doubt that there is a disaffection and a disconnect, a disinterest in the political system and a lack of trust in political representation. We know how low our voter turnout is. So there has to be public ownership of the process and ways to encourage greater public participation.
When a number of us spoke in the Doyle, we had concerns over the composition of the convention, that politicians would not have an undue bearing on the deliberations. We wanted the, that the balance would be weighted more in favour of the citizens, and I think great effort has been made to ensure a balance in gender, socio-economic background, urban, rural, employed, unemployed, to ensure the widest possible representation. I hope the members of the Oireachtas also reflect that. Um, we had concerns beforehand about who was going to be the chairperson, but it is, I have to acknowledge, the work and the voice of Tom Arnold in the human rights area for many, many years. Transparency and accountability are the two terms with which we're very familiar, and this convention also has to be transparent and accountable. The Constitutional Convention must ensure a process that allows meaningful and informed discussion of the topics and opportunities for the public and for organisations and civil society to express their opinion. And all of this done openly and publicly. When I do so, I go here in the lesson Shanok and Niniarth go curl a kaila. I guess Captain Gulche Arunok can create new lesson Shanok now because I do believe that it is by working together that the convention can succeed in the work that we have to do. Gormila Magov.